Hey. Are you, are you laughing at yourself? Are you just laughing at yourself? Are you ready to go for a walk? We're gonna go for a walk. Okay. It rained a good bit last night, so the weather today is really nice, really mild, um, mid to upper 80s, so we decided to go for a walk. I like to try to get Gabriel out of the house at least once a day if it's possible. And during the summer, it's difficult because of how hot it gets here. I like to tell my friends I, I enjoy, I really enjoy living in Dallas. It's a beautiful place to be. Uh, you know, spring and fall are, are just awesome. Beautiful weather, you don't have to run the air conditioning, you leave the windows open, you just wanna be outside. And then the winters are pretty mild. You know, you get one snow, maybe two, just enough to get it out of your system. You know, make it really feel like Christmas. <laughs> and, but not enough where things get really soggy and the roads are salted the whole time and you're just kind of miserable because everything's just wet and gross. But there are three months right there in the middle of the year where it feels like you live inside of an oven. It's just way too hot to get outside. So when we get days like today where it rained a good bit, cooled everything off, it's not humid. You know, usually it'll rain, but not enough to, I got stuck on something. You know, not enough to cool things off, but enough to make you feel like you're walking through soup. Uh, but today's not one of those days. We got a gift and I'm gonna spend some time outside. Gabriel, are you enjoying the walk? I'm pretty sure there is a small child peeing in the park. Like he's over there with his pants down and he's just peeing. This is hilarious. Uh oh, this could be trouble. Jacob and Geese don't get along too well. Let's see what happens here. You better move out of my way. Move it along. Nothing to see here. Being cool? Alright. All right. We're, we're cool. We're cool. So this is a park just down the road from our house. It's called Duck Pond Park. It's a very beautiful place and uh, there are actually ducks as you saw me walk through earlier. There's a little playground down there. Well shaded and everything so it's even nice during the summertime. This is a path around the pond that I like to take Gabriel on. I'm sure, I mean, he doesn't really see much of it being in his little car seat in his stroller, but I get to see it and it's nice. And there's a nice breeze. Days like today, I like to get out of the house too, because, you know, to be a home, stay at home dad, you get cooped up, you kind of start to go crazy. Little kid TV shows all the time or those repetitive, like sound machines that play twinkle, twinkle, little star over and over and over again. So you just kind of want to throw it out the window. So I like to get out of the house every now and then. This guy's fading fast. He's abandoned his toy. He's got the mild hiccups. He's kind of doing the slow blink. We may have a nap coming on. Gabriel had his bottle and fell right to sleep. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. This guy got a good nap. Now he's in his jumper. I got some lunch down and now I've got to fold all these clothes. So we've got him bouncing. We've got a little Sarah and Duck going on the TV. Um, you guys comfortable? Yeah? Okay. Well, maybe we can get this done pretty quick. 
Okay, as you can see, the laundry is done, but Gabriel didn't last very long in that jumper. He is now in his high chair, playing with his toys, but gets very frustrated easily because that means it is time for a bottle. You hungry? <laughs> yep. Yep. This guy took his bottle real quick and fell right to sleep. Now he's up and ready for mommy to get home. Should be here any minute. Any minute. Can we sit down? Think we can sit down? No? This kid has had a meltdown and we can't sit. I tried to put him on his play mat. He didn't want to be on his play mat. Put him in his high chair. He cried there. I put him in his bouncer. He cried there. We can't even just sit on the couch. <laughs> he is upset about something. It's not his diaper. I checked that. I think he just wants his mama to be home. I think this is all he needed. His mommy to be home. Okay. Sarah's home. That means I get to clock out for a minute and uh, do something else that I enjoy. And that's exercise. So we... Uh, Used to have gym memberships, but then the baby came along, and that uh, was, was difficult, obviously, for Sarah to go to the gym uh, with a baby, and you can't go to the gym with a baby. And I didn't like being gone from the house, you know, for an hour to an hour and a half to, to, to run and do all the lifting that I wanted to do, so I saved my allowance. I, yes, I'd get an allowance. Um, I saved it up and bought all the equipment I would need to do the workout that I was doing at the gym. So now I just have to go out to the garage. And if any, any at any point, if Sarah needs me, I can come back inside real quick, help out, and then come back outside and get back on my workout. So we had a cute little family sign off planned, but Gabriel decided he was ready to go to bed right now. So Sarah's back there tucking him in. Uh, and I think when she's done with that, we're going to have some Chinese takeout, and she and I are going to binge watch TV until it's our bedtime. So we hope you guys had a great day and enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can don't miss any, uh, any of our other videos. And be sure to comment. Tell us what you think. Uh, suggestions when the baby gets fussy. I'd love to know what your tricks are. Uh, being a stay-at-home dad, I could use all the advice I can get. So hope you guys had a great day. See you soon.